So Google Ads Editor is a helpful tool. It's a free tool from Google. It allows you to build campaigns, multiple campaigns very quickly in Google. I like it because sometimes it allows you to make changes that aren't allowable in the regular Google Ads platform. And right now I'm just gonna get into the very basics, how to download Google Ads Editor, setting up a campaign on Google Ads Editor, and trying to set up multiple campaigns. First things first, you wanna go to google.com and just type in Google Ads Editor and you'll see here, you can click on any of the links that talk about Google Ads Editor and just click on the link that makes the most sense for you, download Google Ads Editor. You want it in your language. I have English selected, but if you're outside of the country, you may have another language selected. You still have the option of clicking on English and click on the file that is downloaded. This works for both Mac and Windows computers. Once you've downloaded Google Ads Editor, you wanna search for it. So in this case, in my Windows, I'm clicking on Google Ads Editor, select it, it will open up. Usually they're gonna ask you off the bat to download an account. I've already had an account open, but just, just for the sake of showing this tutorial, I'll hit account open and you want to select the account that you want to open if it's the first time they will ask you to sign in to your account in this case i'm just going to search for my account select it and click download you want to select all campaigns especially if it's the first time you're doing this if you consistently get into google ads editor you're fine with campaigns already downloaded so you click ok and wait for your download once everything has been downloaded once your campaigns have been downloaded, you want to click on done. And this part of the tutorial, we're going to talk about creating a campaign from scratch. The first thing you want to do is you, you're going to notice that you're going to have three panes and that's what I'm going to refer to it when I'm looking at Google Ads Editor. You have the left pane, you have the middle pane and the right pane. In the left pane, you have two sections, a list of where your campaigns are, another section that where you can search for what you want to work on. In this case, I want a campaign. So in the search box, I'm gonna go under campaign and in the middle pane, I'm gonna click on add campaign. As you can see here, it just gives you a campaign and a random number. Name your campaign as you normally would. I'm gonna put YouTube ad campaign tutorial one. As you can see in the left-hand panel, you have all types of things going on. You have your campaign was added. On the right pane, you're gonna specify that you want it to be a YouTube ads campaign. So here you wanna put in the budget, let's just put $10 average daily. Your goal setting, if it's an account level, you leave it as such. If you want a particular goal just to show up, one goal in your campaign, you would want to select little pencil tab, campaign specific, and select whichever the actions that make the most sense. Here you wanna set your bid strategy. Um, in this case, I'm going to put maximize conversions. Campaign type, you wanna select video drive conversions. If you are using maximize conversions or target CPA, I 100% of the time, that's what I use. Video drive conversions. You see, you're gonna see an error. That's because there are other settings that you wanna set up. So include search network, disabled. Include search partners, disabled. And include display partners, disabled. If you're gonna start the campaign automatically, you can do so. If you're one of those people that you wanna have it set up, for the next day, midnight, you can set it up there and start date. Ad schedule, none. Devices, I'm not going to segment. Cap, it's totally up to you. I like to, in this case, for the video campaigns, let's say, say three impressions per day for each person, five views per month. Hit okay. Language, we're gonna leave English. Location, United States. Content exclusions, let's select this. And here I will select live streaming YouTube videos, embedded videos, uh, content not yet labeled. Targeting method, people in or regularly in your target location. And here in video settings, this is the reason you're getting the error. So you have to select all three. In the past, you were able to just say, oh, I just want YouTube videos, which are in-stream videos. However, Google now makes you select all three to let your YouTube ad campaign go live in these type of campaigns. So select all three, inventory type, standard, expanded, standard should be fine. And that's, that's the basic part of your campaign. So now the next thing you wanna do is you want to create the ad group. So you go back to the search part and type in ad group and you see the middle column is empty. You wanna click on plus ad group. Let's just say ad group one. Automatically, as of this recording, he's going to give you the option of responsive video. Responsive videos are the videos that show up. They're basically in-stream videos, but they also include the videos that show up on your mobile phone when you're scrolling through YouTube. And that's where you see a lot of this ad copy that I'll be adding right now. That's where you'll see the ad pop up. So we have ad group one. Once you created the ad group name, you want to scroll down a bit and see what other targeting methods there are. As far as device targeting, I don't really like to mess with that at the ad group level. I usually do that at the campaign level if I'm gonna target devices like a desktop or a mobile device. I'm not gonna do that here. I like to leave it open. Targeting expansion, I like to turn that off. That's something that you can test down the road once you're getting conversions. But initially I like to somewhat not let Google go into other targeting that I don't want. 
in the beginning. Audience segments, all these things are fine. Once you create the ad group, you wanna create the ad. In this case, I'm gonna go back to the search pane and the, the pane on the left. In the search, I'm gonna look for responsive. To, you notice you don't have to fill out the whole thing. Once you start writing it, Google Ads Editor automatically gives you those options. So in this case, it's gonna be responsive video ads. Here, I wanna click on plus responsive video ad. It's gonna ask you for the video ID. The video ID is whatever you see when you get to any YouTube video. So in this case, let's go to youtube.com. Let's go right here. So this ID you see right here, that's the video ID. Let's copy that ID. Let's go back to the Google Ads Editor. And here you paste the ID. The ad name is whatever name you wanna call it. It's up to you. Let's just say add one. Call to action. You only have a limit of 10 characters. So it's, it's really simple. Learn more, buy now, whatever it is, watch now if it's a video. So as long as you keep it as simple as possible and, re and relevant to what it is that they're gonna do in the next step of your funnel. The headline, is 15 characters. Here, let's just say uh, amazing video. Here you have the long headline, you type it in, watch this amazing video. If you've gone over the character limit, Google Ads Editor will tell you right away, watch this amazing video and to make money today. Here in Path is no different than responsive search ads. You still wanna include some of the main keywords or the main theme of what it is that you're promoting. Make money online. So in the final URL, you put the URL where you're sending people to, we're gonna put google.com, and there, we've already created the ad. Now, here there's other things you wanna use. You may wanna exclude certain things. I like to exclude mobile apps. I like to exclude display traffic. So I'll go ahead and show that part. You go to your left pane in the search, you type in mobile. You see you have mobile apps, mobile apps negative, mobile app categories, and mobile app categories negative. Select mobile app categories negative, and here you click on the button, add mobile app category. You can do this at the campaign level or the ad group level, whichever you feel more comfortable. I like to do the campaign level just in case, especially if I have multiple ad groups. Campaign level, negative mobile app category. You see that the first thing selected is already all apps. So all you have to click is okay. And there, you blocked mobile app traffic for your YouTube ads. If you want to get rid of display traffic, you go back to the search panel and you type in placement. And here you have placement negatives. You select that and you add the negative placement. So if we're looking for the negative placement. Uh, the placement you want to add is Google AdSense without YouTube.com. Select it, copy, and here add negative placement. You can add this at the ad group level, campaign level, whatever you feel comfortable. I like doing it at the campaign level. And negative placement on the right pane, paste it and enter. And you have now excluded uh, display traffic. And here within the campaign, you can start messing around. Let's just say you targeting something for people 25 to 54. You can do so here. Select the ad group under the left pane, type in age and go to where it says age is negative. And here you add your negative ages. You can do it to the campaign level or the ad group level. Campaign level, every time you add it, it will default to 18 to 24. So in this case, um, there are seven age ranges. So if I want 25 to 54, it's pretty much 25, 34, 35, 44, 45, 54. So there's four age ranges I want to exclude. 18 to 24, I want to exclude 55, 64. I want to exclude 65 plus. If you want to target a certain audience, you go back where it says manage, type in audience. You see there's two options, audiences and there's audience segments. You wanna select audience segments and then you click add audience segment. This you wanna add at the ad group level and here you put whatever it is. Uh, let's just say money. Let's just pick apparel accessories. Okay, once you made all those changes, go back to campaign. You wanna double check all your parameters. The most important one for me is budget. You don't wanna have something that's way higher than what you wanna spend and you hit check changes. And you're gonna see, uh, it's gonna tell you all the changes that are going to be made. Check changes, close. If you see resolved one, it usually means, or whatever the number is, it usually means that that ad does exist or that video does exist on YouTube. And once you pass all those check marks, it's just a matter of posting it. I'm not going to post this campaign because it's not a real campaign, but you click on post and it's uploaded on your platform. Now, let's just say that you want to create Multiple campaigns. This is where Google Ads Editor uh, becomes extremely helpful. I don't know if you've done this on the interface, you know the interface sometimes has trouble loading and just takes a long time. So let's just say I have to launch four other campaigns. All I have to do is copy my campaign, paste it, name it as such, tutorial two. And now let's just say I'm just changing audiences. I go to audience segment and I click on edit and I put the next audience I want. Let's just say autos and vehicles. And you continue to do that as many times as necessary. And before you know it, it's an easy way to have 
10, 20 campaigns set up in a matter of minutes. So with Google Ads Editor, you can see it's a very complex tool. It could be as complex as you like it, really digging deep into Excel files and things of that nature. But I think for all intents and purposes, uh, if you wanna build multiple campaigns and really set up your account to scale, Google Ads Editor is extremely helpful. If you wanna see more tips and tutorials, feel free to check out our other videos, totally free. If for whatever reason you feel like you need a next level, you wanna join group classes and really dig deep and see our process and procedure find out about courses for you just click the link it's totally free book a call and see how we can help you guys scale youtube ads